Craig here. I got a new alarm in the mail the other day. Here it is. You can see it's definitely not an American device by any means. It has that look of a European device, which it is. It's got a rather deep looking base and a red lens strobe. So to pop this thing open, you have to take a small screwdriver to one of these little sides with a notch in it. And you just slip it in there and you can pull it out and then it pops out. And then the other side's kind of stuck on there, but you can just slide it. This is a Gent model number C3IP-SN-ST-RR. It is a conventional S3 sounder with a red lens strobe, and it is IP65 rated. And here's the box, too. I want you to take a look at that, and you can see there's a manufacturer date on it as well. In British format, April 29th, 2014. So, uh, this is a deep bass sounder. Uh, deep bass is obviously for the IP rating to make it weatherproof. And then it also comes with this little wall gasket that you're supposed to stick on the back of the alarm. Kind of about right there. Um, inside of it, there's this little metal bracket thingy think, to kind of help seal the wire knockouts. And then there's also this little terminal over here which I believe is for an earth ground connection. Now the alarm itself has a bunch of different things on it here. There's like a bunch of capacitors and stuff up here. There's six terminals up here, three pairs. First and second pair for your uh, power input and output. And the third pair here is for signal switching. Over here, this little thing here is for is an IR receiver for a uh, remote control connection. And that's also what this little thinned out area of the back box is for, so it makes it easier for the sounder to communicate with the IR remote. Then there's your 8-way dip switch over here, which controls tones and volume settings. And then there's this weird port over here, which in the manual isn't um, mentioned at all, but I think it may be used in the factory to program some stuff. So there's that. Now for the instruction sheet, do bear with me, the instruction sheet is a little bit torn, unfortunately. Um, I think that's just from it kind of aging, even though it hasn't really been outside of its box. As you can see, this is an S3 Mark II unit. And there's your options there. This one is right here. This deep base SNSTRR. These also came in white, and they also came with shallow bases. There they are over there. There's how to open and close it. And description of the back of the sounder. Let me hold up this guide here, and you can take a closer look at that. So, um, one thing is you may see a little cover on this, and it's described in there as well. This is just a, literally just a cover, is all it is. Nothing too big, but really, um, I think it's to help keep this, keep these, um, semi-dust proof. But the adhesive that's supposed to be on it isn't. Didn't do a very good job, as you can see, because I'm able to take the cover off. Try and put it back on there. There we go. Um, so yeah, you have your IR receiver down there, and there's your terminals. And there's uh, where the adhesive is supposed to be on the little PCB chip. Then there's your dip switch and descriptions of it. So switches one through five are for tone selection. Switch six is for volume. 
Switch 7 determines turbo or non-turbo mode. Um, I believe that would indicate sounder operation. And then Switch 8 says set switch position 8 for sounder application and only gives the one switch. Um, before this video, I did try it both on and off at switch number 8. I didn't really notice any difference between the two, so... Anybody knows exactly what purpose that switch has, please let me know. Um, as obviously the guide isn't very descriptive. On this other side here, you have wiring set up for the use of multiple signal inputs. You, this one utilizes a key switch. You can also use like a little relay. And then on the back here is your giant tone table. 32 tones. And then on the far side is technical data. And then obviously that little rip in there, it kind of makes it a little hard to read. But you kind of get the idea. So that's that, uh, get power supply and a pulsation out and we'll test this thing.